Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we're going to be building an awesome bamboo treehouse. So, I hope you guys are ready. So today, it is such a nice day here in our lovely Minecraft Let's Play world. And what we're going to go ahead and do is start working on a bamboo house. I've got a lot of requests from you guys in the comments saying we should start a bamboo house because what's better to do in Minecraft than to make a bamboo house? And uh, I mean, within this update, I think that is going to be something to totally shoot for. Um, and I think we can do that pretty well. You can see there's tons and tons of bamboo here. So I don't want to harvest a lot of it, but I do want to find a nice little area, maybe up on top of this mountain here, that has some bamboo already existing. And then of course we are going to have a house that we make out of bamboo intertwined with the jungle forest and everything else. Wow, this is like serious parkour here. Jungle parkour, wow. Um, and also maybe have some pandas. So I did find some pandas that were over here and I did learn from the community that there are pandas that will sneeze and these pandas have a chance of giving you slime balls. So over here, I have caged up a bamboo pan or a panda right here. And you can see that this panda has a runny nose. Um, also, there's a little baby panda and there's a mama panda. So yeah, do not touch the mama panda as that panda will hurt you. Um, if you get close to any of these pandas, I think while there's a baby panda around, like you get, you get attacked. So not good to do that. Um, but I think like this area would be a really cool place to build um, with bamboo and, su and such. You know, kind of having this mountainscape here um, over the edge with these areas right here. And plus it's, it's nearby our already pre-existing home. So if we need to get anything, we can actually do that. Now, unfortunately, I don't have the ability to time lapse because my usually I use a separate computer and that computer is currently being taken up. But what I'm going to do is I am going to get this area mostly cleared down. Um, we're going to have a path leading to our house eventually. But I'm going to go ahead and get a path, a nice little clearance here. We're probably going to end up with a lot of materials. And uh, while I do that, I don't know, we, I, like I said, I'm probably not going to have a time lapse just because of the sheer amount of time that it's going to take to actually do that. I'm going to go ahead and clear this out and I will be back and then I'll just show you the amount of materials that we actually obtain from that. So here is what I've done. I've kind of carved out a little area that kind of leads up into this natural formation up in this hill where we do have some nice trees that we can utilize. And I think the um, I think this these trees will go good with the actual build itself. And then we're going to we have this mountain overhang where we can actually use um, the stalks and stuff as like supports. And it'll look like it's actually overhanging this mountain, which is going to be pretty cool. Um, so this is all the items that I ended up gathering from there. A lot of dirt, which is going to be very useful later on, um, because I always seem to run out of dirt. I don't know why that is, but I, I just always do. So, yeah, I went through uh, three shovels <laughs> doing this which is kind of crazy. It may sound crazy, but I mean, that's literally what happened. Um, I have been gathering a bunch of bamboo because of course, when you break the block under a piece of bamboo, um, it of course breaks the entire thing. Um, and as we, as you can see, as we're trailing down here, it looks like a lot of the grass has then blended in like it should have. And we need to get our wood all situated. So yeah, we have a lot of blocks and which means I can then, you know, send that all over here. Any blocked, base item. I'm going to try and, and send over there. Of course, we're going to run out of space in which I'm going to need to go ahead and send these items over here as well. All right. So some of the main items I'm going to need to get the pathway started, of course, is some jungle wood. I think that is going to look the best. So I'm going to take this and make some slabs. Those slabs should last a while. And then we need some stairs for certain parts. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do another half of that just to get some more stairs made. And then I think maybe some slabs. Perfect. And what I'm going to do is slab up the bottom half. Just like so. So we're going to have a little section here. And this is how it's going to lead up. Now when we hit pieces like this, this is where I'm probably going to start adjusting things. So if we have it like that, I'm going to need to continue to terraform 
the surrounding area a little bit. Um, just because I don't want it to be like that. I would prefer to use slabs instead of full stairs for most of this build. And, you know, I'm just going to have to work my way around doing that. So let's see. Well, we have that going. That looks like another stepway, but it's not. Yeah, the parts, the, the parts of the build that cannot accept these, like this right here, this is where those stairs are going to come in handy. Because this, I do want to use stairs for. It's a little bit steeper of an incline. There's not much else we can do for that. Um, other than, you know, placing this down. And also, I want this to be dirt. Because I want it to carry over the grass. And I can just probably take the dirt from here. Not going to hurt anything. And there we go. And that'll convert to grass. And we'll carry this back up. This also needs to be stairs. I don't think there's an easy way for us to really convert this over, is there? Well, there might be, actually. Now that I look at it. Oh, yeah. That makes it perfect, right? Just like that. Um, and, yeah. We can actually fit slabs all the way through this. Just like that. Yeah, when you're making pathways, it's probably best to try your best to make it so that way slabs fit, because slabs just look a lot nicer, in my opinion. Like, here's another section where I think I can make this fit slabs better. And there we go. So in the new 114 update, we have the ability to make a new block called scaffolding. This thing is absolutely wonderful, which allows us, well, let me actually show you the recipe first. It allows us to be able to build some really interesting things and help us in an aid to build, but I'm gonna use it for this purpose. Let me go ahead and break this bamboo stock down. And I'm actually gonna use it as a very simple and clean pathway over water. Like this. So, whereas before we would have to use probably slabs or something like that, we could just use this and there we go. We have a two by two little platform that allows us to walk over the water and it, it does go under the water and still is slightly above it, which I find wonderful. Um, this can also be used for decorations. You gotta be careful though, because one single punch to this can cause the whole thing to collapse. And we don't want to do that. We don't want to cause any of this to collapse. So I have a few building materials on me right now. Not the, the not a great amount of building materials, but I think we can come up with probably a pretty interesting idea, um, at least getting started. So right here we have a base floor. Um, and what I want to do is kind of come up with an idea or shape of our build. So to do that, let me kind of get a rough idea. So right here is a log. Uh, I'm going to place a log probably coming off the side here as well. I uh, want to space it out by maybe three or two. It's going to actually have to come off the wall here somewhere. Like this. There we go. And we can always destroy this. Of course, the only thing I didn't bring is an axe. Anyways. So yeah, we can kind of leave that. So that gives us an idea there. Um, these can actually go, what we were going to build here can actually fall off the edge, which is really going to be really cool. And then right here, of course, we're going to have that connected to the tree. And these are just like some ideas that I'm coming up with. Um, this area can be left because we do already have two pillars. And how about right here? Because that's going to be another pillar. So these areas where they're hanging off, we can let them hang off. That is perfect. Um, that is going to be perfectly fine for me. Is to let them hang off. That's going to allow me to be able to do this. Now, this is going to be a very open build. So if you're worried about mobs, I recommend just lighting the area up. Because mobs can spawn in an area around you and get into your house. There's not going to be very many doors. If there's any doors at all, that's something I tend to not do. Is add doors. There we go. So I'm just basically adding a, sort of like a deck around the outside. 
basically all I'm doing. I'm going to go all the way out here. Now, since I've done this, we can actually use bamboo to look like risers. It look like the, the, it's actually holding this stuff up. Um, so, say, for example, right here. You could actually take bamboo and automatically make it grow like that. And it looks like it's a support beam. Is that, is that not cool? Like that I think is really, really cool. Um, so yeah, we could use it here. And you see it grows as a sprout like sort of thing. But if you place one on top, it automatically grows it. I can get in here to do that. Actually, this one might not work. We might have to drop it down one to get that to work because we need it to be like that. There we go. So these sections are probably going to need to be mowed over a little bit as well. There we go. And say so I can put one here. One here. And I think that looks pretty good. Um, I'm going to do one right here. This is going to be a little bit longer of one. Is that right on the block I'm standing on? It's way down there. Okay. So this is probably going to be a pretty long bamboo shoot. So there we go. But we should be able to stand on top of it, I believe. And rise it and raise it up. Just like that. How crazy is that? Now, don't get me wrong. I would not want to use bamboo as a support beam for like an actual house build. That would be ridiculous. But for this, it kind of fits, right? Let's see. Oh, did not mean to place that. Of all the tools I don't have, I'm going to go back and get myself a proper tool here in a minute. And there we go. Perfect. And yeah, for that, I think that is going to be enough of the bamboo there. Now, when we come to messing around with the main part of the house, that's where things are going to get kind of cool. Um, so like these sections here, um, I kind of want to use bamboo as like the actual structure part. And like maybe have this little area open. And what we can do is this. They are kind of hard to break if you just plant them down. And sometimes they grow. I don't want them to have the stock on them. So there we go. Have it grow like that. I think I'm going to move this because I think I want this to go out one. And I think it'll look a little bit better. So yeah, these have sort of a random placement to them. You can kind of see that when we're you know, adding bits and pieces here. And that's what I want. Because like I said, we're just kind of making a little bit of a house. Now, I want this three tall. I'm going to have to go through each one of these and make these all three tall. There we go. I think I can just jump to do this. Perfect. These have already grown three tall. There we go. I'm going to have to break the top of these. Swords work really fast, apparently. Wow. That actually makes a lot of sense. Swords working really fast. Um, and up top, I mean, I guess I can continue using these slabs. I want to stop using the slabs, though, eventually. There we go. Just like that. Then same to that block over there. There we go. And I really need a darker block. So finding like a dark oak forest is going to be really handy for us. But this will prevent them from growing. We don't want them growing anymore. Perfect. And that leaves us with our little opening here to get to the deck. Awesome. So yeah, 
I do want to get some structure beams in here, some actual structure beams. So we probably are going to chop out some of this. And like, this is where like the, uh, the jungle oak would go. Like right in here. Like this is going to disappear. I'm not so interested in that. There we go. We'll put like oak here. There we go. Or maybe actually just connect that directly to the side. That might be something else better to do. All right. So that is all enough. There. That should be tall enough there as well. Perfect. So that's like the gentle, that's like the start of a bamboo house right here. So I was just out and about looking for like a dark forest. So that way I could, you know, get some darker materials. And yeah, I stumbled upon this village. But as you can see over here, it's more than just your typical village. As this, I believe, is a pillager outpost. I'm so scared to kill one of them as they do have crossbows and I do not. Um, I wonder how hard they would be to kill. I wonder. Can they shoot one another? They can. So I think crossbows can drop from these guys. Nice. So we did kill a couple of them. I don't think that really matters though. I think we would have been safer killing them on the horse. But still, that's a villa, that's an outpost. I don't know. I think only if you kill the ones with the banners does it really affect, but I don't think there's any loot or anything in there. I just, I better stay back because they are really going to, uh, yeah, they're spawning all over the place now. Okay, so at least we know where one's at, right? Um. Let me see if I can't get away, because, boy, they really follow you a long ways. Yeah, they follow a long ways. And I don't see an iron golem inside that village. Maybe I shouldn't drag them to the village. Either way, um, I, yeah, I think they've kind of lost. I'm going to go ahead and write this village down, and I'm going to continue my search for some dark wood. That way we can finish up our build. So I think using some of the vines that we have already available from this tree will provide us with actually a pretty decent platform from which we can kind of uh, add sec uh, second layers to. So let's so say I want this to be a second floor going on here. And I'll just leave it like that. So what we can do is actually just use these vines and that will allow us to get up here. And I believe this we could probably remove. And what we could do is just extend the bamboo. Up. And then provide that top piece from here. Just like that. Pretty nice. Um, and then I can just use the vines to give me a platform to stand on. I do really like this. So some bamboo have different thicknesses, it looks like. Like that's a really cool part of the whole bamboo thing. That is really cool, actually. So yeah, we could continue this, you know, giving it some, some support beams. Um, but what I wanna do is I wanna actually use the spruce as like an actual functional part of this build. I want to make this, let's see if I can't get one underneath each section here. So what I want is I want this floor down here, which we're gonna actually probably change some of this grass and replace it with other things. But I want to make an actual roof for this. And to do that, I need to kind of know how high to bring this up. Also, I may need to take some grass and stuff like that. Just to kind of situate this. I'm also trying to break the grass in a way that it doesn't look like I'm just destroying the area around me. 
because I want this to feel all natural up here. And by the way, it looks really good from the outside. I'm not going to lie. It does look pretty darn good. I'm going to remove this. I think fence would look way better if we used fence instead. Um, and then probably going with a darker fence. Would look way better. So, yeah, mixing and matching and going with some dark fence. I think overall that's going to look better than using these bulky logs. There we go. And same for this side. Perfect, just like that. There we go. So we have a little way to get out here. I think I need to probably take one of these and make this fence as well. Just to make it all look natural. And then probably come up here. And this is where I wanted to use like some grass. Um, potentially to raise this up a little bit. I think this right here will look fine if we just add the solid blocks. Except for this little area where we're going to be able to climb up here. But let's see. Let's take this. And from this point, we're going to be using slabs. So there we go. We'll just connect to the outside. Like that. And then I'll just use slabs to go up one higher. But I want this area connected to be dirt. Right here. That area needs to be dirt. And I'd prefer it to be grass, to be honest. The best way to get it to be grass is just to kind of be patient and let it spread. From where there's actually grass already. Now, if we had a silk touch tool, this would be way easier. I wouldn't have to wait for it to spread, but I do have to wait for it to spread right here. Now this, I think we can leave a little two spot gap. So this I'm not too worried about. We can leave that little two spot gap and I think that'll work just fine. Perfect. All right. So like I said, the rest of that's going to be slabs, which we can go down here, break this down into some slabs. And then we'll just raise this up to fit the slab. And that's sort of the roof on this part, right? That's the this part of the roof completed. That's not too difficult. All right, so what's going to go here, right? That's going to be some bamboo. We're going to need even more bamboo up in here. Like I said, because this is like a second story. It is starting to get dark. There we go. And yeah, if some of it grows, don't worry about it. Not that big of a deal. Perfect. And we're going to use some more jungle logs for this. There we go, and we'll comp we'll just continue this jungle log thing going all the way through. Perfect. And then, of course, to complete the roof, you guys probably already know what we're going to have to do to complete the rest of the roof. One thing, I'm going to need to carry this all the way back. And then connect it. Perfect. And then we're going to connect this. To all of that. And then we're going to use slabs. Just like that. Perfect. I'm going to put a torch here. Just to give some light. Because mobs do like to spawn. 
So yeah, we have a nice little area here. Look at that. Like I said, grass should grow up this. It's just going to take some time. And yeah, this I think will accept grass. I might have to wait for that to fully become grass. grass. But I think for right now, this is looking pretty good. You know, we can do some things like throw in some chests. Of course, to make this look like a livable space, like people have been actually living here. Um, we can actually make a, like a little kitchen or whatever it needs to be done. But so far, I think this is looking pretty darn good. Pretty good, if I do say so myself. So guys, moment of truth. Let's take a look at this bad boy. So, I've pretty much got everything sort of situated. And I think I have it all set up the way I actually want this thing to look like. And it's turned out way better than I thought it has. So you can call this like... I don't know, the jungle bamboo tree house thing. I don't really know what to call it other than like a bamboo house. Really nice and open feeling. Um, you can kind of see it from the side. I went ahead and added some leaves and put some vines on it. Let the vines grow up a little bit while I worked on some other stuff. Um, and I think it looks phenomenal. So I was able to get some leaves to grow on this. Let's go ahead and take a look at what it looks like from down below because down below you can kind of see like it's setting off the edge of the mountain there it looks really really cool um i think even incorporating some stuff into these walls would actually work out as well um i just really enjoy making these builds just look super super nice like even our first build like our first house like that right there was super nice and super easy to do all right so let's let's jump up here let's turn around moment of truth Look at that bad boy. All right, so let's go over here and let's see exactly what this looks like. Wow. So if we take this, we zoom in, you can really, really start to tell. I mean, that is straight up a bamboo house. I went ahead and added leaves underneath here too to give it kind of an overgrown filling. Um, and yeah, that worked out a lot. I really do like how the bamboo stalks kind of really stick out. They're really vibrant. That looks really cool. And it's really functional. Let's go ahead and bring this back. There we go. And yeah, I mean, it's a really nice place. There's a bed up there. Um, we have places to store things. So there's some chests. Um, we have the crazy amount of uh, pandas that are just spawning nearby. Like, I think they spawn naturally. Um, and then having this pathway up where I think we could probably add, you know, maybe a place to do, do some fishing. We can make like a, a little pond or something nearby. Like when we come up to this thing, it's just, it's yeah, really nice. I know this is like a, a little short here, but that's where the dirt is technically at, where the grass has grown, where we have some grass in here, a little bed, a little bit of a table. I mean, there's a little bit of a porch even up top. The bottom area has a little bit of a porch as well. Like this kind of stuff is really cool. Guys, I don't know. Let me know what you think about this build down in the comments below. Do you think we should be doing more builds like this every other episode? Um, because I sure do. I, sh I think that this is super fun doing like a daily build challenge or something like that. I don't know. That's that's something I'm I'm interested in trying out. But guys, I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed today's episode, please don't forget to click that subscribe button if you haven't already. And also ring that notification bell. That helps out a lot so you guys can stay notified when I do upload new videos just like so. Anyways, if you haven't already clicked that thumbs up button, you must have disliked this video. Anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next episode. And as always, thanks for watching.